merchandise. It's not mine. From another YouTuber. Um, I could probably turn that up now. Oh. Um. It's, it's too hard. It's too bright. <laughs> and now it's too warm. Um. It is a real struggle to come up with ideas because I'm very much a nighttime person at the moment. I can't do like nature walks because it's too dark, it's probably too cold. Um, um, I just don't know. But lately I've been a while ago I said how people online really pissed me off. Um, I don't talk to those people anymore. I haven't for a while. But now even the people I talk to who I've met after that time, they're starting to piss me off. Um, there's a lot of negative people. Um, they're not like um, negative in the way where they're blatantly doing something negative although some of them are but like the way they speak to you it's like why you got such a attitude with me when I'm just having a general conversation or something will happen with a different group of people and I'm part of that thing that's happening over there. And then somebody who's trying to quote unquote help will have an absolute go at me in private messages. And it's like, why are you having a go at me? I ain't done fucking anything to you. But yeah, I'm almost tempted to I don't know because I could have just with the chat thing like the message with discord it's a thing where you can message people and it doesn't cost you anything I've had my account since like way back in 2016 I had the account I'm pretty sure I created it so I could talk to Darcy and two other people Obviously, as you've seen before, ain't heard from Darcy since COVID started, so. Um, the, only real, the only real reason that account is still active and I haven't dis disabled slash deleted it is on the hopes that he actually comes back and that he's not dead. But that's just... That's more or less just me holding on to the hope of something that I know is very unlikely to happen. But, um, you know, it's just that off chance. But like, if it wasn't for that, I would have probably deleted the account Probably almost two years ago now, I would have probably deleted it. And then there's an account on a video game. I'd delete that, but... <coughs> I would delete that, but I have money invested into the game. Which I... It's bullshit stuff like... Um, Avatar stuff that you can't... You, like if, if, you, well, if I could, I would just send the inventory... I would like transfer the items from my account, make a new account and just forget everyone ever existed. But unfortunately you can't do that. You can only buy it for your account. And if you have another account, they want you to buy it again, which is bullshit. But yeah, if I could, I would just delete that as well. Because I'm, I'm really just, I don't want to be part of any of those groups anymore. 
because there's so much negativity and you discover that so many of them are just fucking nasty people and I mean like proper nasty like sort of people that the majority of the world thinks you're an arsehole you should die that sort of nasty On a positive, I'm going to possibly go and get a night job because nighttime work pays more. Because you, I don't know if it's the same in all countries, but in England, there's certain hours of the night where you get a bit of extra pay for working those hours, which doesn't really make sense. But there's a a warehouse or some sort of um, like, I don't know what it is, it's, I'm pretty sure it's just a, like a depot, or whatever you call it, like, they drop packages there, you move them around, and then another car comes and takes those packages to wherever, but I'm going to see if they have nighttime work available, if they do, I'll go and get that, because I want the money, um, it will help me as well get away from all the people online who piss me off. But I also, I kind of want to be awake during the daytime more, instead of sleeping all the time during the day. Because it's fucking boring being awake. Right now it's 3.43 in the morning. It's fucking boring. Like, there's nothing to do. And my drink's empty. Um... Yeah, if I had the job, um, it probably makes certain things easier as well, because I'd have a, um, I'd have a schedule, so I'm not just doing nothing and being like, oh, look at myself. That's pretty much all I do. I walk past that mirror and I'll stand there and be like, oh, damn. But yeah, if I had a schedule, it would help me make plans better. Um, the money could help me do things like um, The money would help me be able to go and explore. I don't. I'm seeing videos lately. I don't know if I want to. I don't want to use transport like public transport. Because the buses, they're not safe. The trains, they're not safe. But like there's certain things I would want to do, but I need the money to be able to go do those things. Which I'm, I'm, I was going to say, I'm sure that makes sense, but obviously it fucking makes sense. We live in some sort of crisis at the moment or whatever. Um, um, Like, it's been so long since I've done vlogging, I cannot remember what I'm supposed to do. Like, what do I ramble on about? <sighs> oh, another thing that I want to go get this job for is so that I can buy replacement fans for my computer. Because I'll turn that bitch on and... 
the sound of those fans is so annoying. Like, you know when you have, like, a power cut and everything just goes dead silent? That's what happens when you turn my computer off. Like, I've kind of gotten used to it, but at the same time, it's always bugging me. But as soon as I go to turn the computer off, I already know that I'm suddenly going to go completely deaf. Because it turned off and then it's like, hello? I guess it just goes that much more quieter with the fans off. And that really bugs me because um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do this talking to the camera right now upstairs in my room if I turn my computer on. Because all you'd hear is just the loud ass fans going round and 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 or whatever it's called. It's some bullshit with Amazon. If I go and get that job, if they got a night shift, then I can buy replacement fans. And I wouldn't be annoyed to turn my computer on. Because I know as soon as I turn it on, I'm already getting annoyed because I know I'm going to hear the fans. Um... But I'd be able to... Uh, I don't fucking know. My main goals is to get um, employment at this place. Or a place nearby to here. So I ain't got to travel far. And then... Once I have money, I can do the things I've just rambled on about. But I also... I'm very obsessed with music, so that's the other reason I'm going crazy right now, because I've turned the TV off, so I don't get YouTube saying, oh, you've got background sounds, boom, and then hit me with a community strike, because, oh, we heard this playing in the background, so bad, bad you. Um... I should also show you my collection of drawings one day, so you can see how much of a crazy person I am. And why I don't like music not playing. But yes, that music. Sorry, I'm getting close to you. With the music, there's certain people I like listening to a lot that I, I want to go to more of their concerts but I need the employment from the place up the road so that I can pay for tickets to the concerts and they're not like they're not like big musicians although they probably are technically big musicians but I want to be able to go to those places so I can enjoy the music and Cry like a little wee bitch if I can. Kind of speak. I don't need to say that again because that's just disrespecting myself. But yeah, I want to give up with these people online and just start going after my music enjoyment. Because I am. I'm a, I, I am. I also have a problem where I can't talk sometimes. So, welcome.
so it's good to see. Some people would consider me young. I don't. Um, 36. I'll be 20. <clears throat> I'll be 26 sometime next year, which a lot of people will say, oh, you're still so young. I don't feel young. I'm definitely not young when I do maths. Because you work stuff out. If it takes you like five years to do this, I'm going to be in my 30s already. Sure, I'll be at the beginning of my 30s. But either way, I'll be 30 in just under five years. It's not something I want to look forward to. But that alone pisses me off. That where I am, where I am right now, at the age of twenty-five, everyone else is already fucking doing everything, and I'm sat here doing fucking nothing. That pisses me off. Because the other thing that pisses me off is that in just under 15 years, I'm going to be having my 40th birthday. How the fuck is that something to look forward to? But it, it's just maths like that, that knowing that in just under 15 years that I'm going to be 40, that pisses me off. Because I haven't got anything accomplished with my life. But basically, yeah, I'm unhappy. Some rhubarb and elderberry. I sort of smell the rhubarb. Um, yeah. There's, there's stuff that I wish, like, you got points in your life. Certain parts of my life where I wish I was now. If people say, oh, well, it's fine, you. You've still got time. You can chase this stuff. If I start doing where I wish I was my life, like, if I start moving forward to where I want my life to be, where I wish I was right now, but I'm not. But if I tried to move to it, because oh, you you can still do it. It's not like you're dying in two days' time. The thing is, even if I go to it now, some of these things are going to take multiple years to be able to do them. So it's like, if it was to happen that a certain thing I want in my life, if it was to happen right now, that this was the start of the process, I would still, it would still be in my mid-30s that I get to that point. That's how, that's how, that's how far behind I am where I want to be.
And at that point, I don't. When I think about that, it's like, okay, yeah, sure. It could be in my in my thirties. It's not far. It's not long away. I don't want to be in my thirties to wait for that to happen. I want it to have already happened, you know? Right, let, well, I'll tell you what we'll do, because I've rambled on for 20 plus minutes. We'll go and take my cup, and we'll go make a cup of coffee. Right, so we're going to make a coffee. We got a worktop and veiny hands. I know, dangerous. One little paper cart and I'll bleed out. We got a cup. Um, we got a spoon. The coffee I'm going to be having is Tesco's classic. I mean, mellow and smooth. Um, roasted for richness. It's a gorgeous coffee. Leave and never do say to myself. I don't know why I said that because I didn't make it, so. But. God, spoon. Oh, made a mess on the worktop. I'm gonna put one in there. I know some people like to have two, two spoons of coffee in their coffee. I prefer just one, it's fine. And then, this is sugar inside of a little convenient tub to make it easier to pour like this and you can see it back up and you're not mixing coffee with the sugar or hot chocolate with the sugar so whatever um, make this a bit more professional by professionally sweeping off the coffee granules onto the floor it's a really messy looking cup because I've been using it for Quite a few drinks there. And then we got the kettle. Just make sure it's hot. Oh, yeah, it's steaming, boy. And what you want to do is the cup's here, the mug's up. This kettle's way up here. <coughs> the kettle's way up here. The way I like to do it is I drop it slowly from my height. You hear that? That's the coffee aerating with the air that's pumping into that water right now. Look at the frothiness coming up. That's how I make my coffees when I'm pouring the water. I like it from a height so that it impacts it and stirs it up. And we're just going to stir it. Just make sure it's fully dissolved into the water. So essentially all we're doing is we're drinking dirty water. That's all your coffee is. There's a beautiful singer outside right now. Well not outside. <laughs> On the TV. Oh, I need milk one second. So I'm going to drink this with... Sorry I just bashed you. With lactose free semi skimmed milk. I'm going to put... Have a bit in there. See that already? Zoom in, look at that. Whoa, what are those lights? Is that a UFO? Well, I never. Oh, look, you can see my dribble stains coming down the cup. And that's how you make the perfect coffee. You want to give it some time to cool down. Don't be drinking it right away. That's mental. Yeah, that's a banging cup of coffee right there. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. See you in a sec. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way. Highway and in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You never hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. 
bit of C with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said no, man, I still go Go, 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 go But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh. Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start the pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do Slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man.